What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys some competitive tips and tricks. We're doing plant spots and lines of sight for the map Exodus. I believe this map is going to be in the rotation, at least for s and I actually haven't played it on hardpoint yet, although I've set it on hardpoint and looked at some of the spots for it. Um, basically, we're going to start. We're going to look at spots specifically for lines of sight to the bomb to watch. Then some spots around the bombs, basically, like flankish type spots. And then we're going to look at more general spots and some spots on the map that might be more useful for game modes like hardpoint. So I know that's kind of a lot, but it, it goes together. I mean, it's not really worth me separating the videos out. This should take about 15 minutes. I know this because I've recorded this video twice. And my throat is very sore now, so I have a throat lozenge. So, yeah, but um, the audio got messed up both times but it should be good now so getting right into it first spot plant it on this side of the bomb here you're gonna come right up here get on top of this box and you can see the bomb obviously right so this doesn't seem that good because you know it's kind of open well what you do is you do a little rotation here you just go in between these beds you are prone blocked so keep that in mind but nobody's going to see you the only way they're going to see you is if they come this way and they're actually looking for it. Now that I've pointed it out, it seems obvious, right? Well, when you walk past here, you would not believe how many people have actually walked past me when I'm laying there. It's ridiculous. I don't know why, but people are going to start noticing that, so it will become kind of a 50-50 thing. But, you know, just laying there and then getting up and checking the bomb like this is um, going to protect you fairly well. It's, a, it's an okay spot to use, all right? Next spot, you're going to want to plant it like right here or right here and you're gonna come right back up here again and you're just going to sit right here get on this head glitch so you can see everything like that and then just look up you can see the bomb right you can also jump if you're on defense and see this side if you think they might be planning so you will have eyes on B the entire time you can shoot through the glass bullets do reduce damage please note that it leaves a shattered mark and it's harder to see so just keep that in mind when you use that spot there are three other spots worth noting, I guess, on the B area here. Um, first one is going to be on top of this trash can. If I can actually jump. Wow, okay, yeah, get on it and you can see. Um, obviously, this is a very risky situation to be in because you don't know where they're coming from and you can get picked if you get bad timing. Another spot is right over here and you get in it and this one's all right. Um, main danger is if they head glitch bomb or if they're up top, they can see your uh, legs. Coming through here, they're not too likely to actually look and notice, but it is possible. And it's even less likely that they'll notice you if they're running like this because they'll probably just check like that and then turn really quick. I mean, that's, that's what I typically do. I just check, see if they're down there or something. So, you know, it's all right. Um, and then there's a spot right here. You can just look at the bomb. This spot is actually better than you think it is because you can see mid, right? Um, and you can run away if they see you right away. So, you know, you're safe. And then if they come this way, they're not going to turn left. Like, nobody nobody does that. Nobody looks left here. They look forward and they're trying to look over here. They're not looking here. So, it's actually an okay spot. Um, and those are all the spots for B, although there are some spots, you know, around the B site to look at flanks and stuff. We'll go over that in a bit, but we're going to go over to the A bomb and there's a few good spots here. So all but one, you want to plant right here, right by this tire. You know, you'll be able to plant it right out here as the furthest spot at the corner of the sandbag, actually. That's where you're going to want to do it for these spots. Um, basically, there's three, four spots over here, actually, three, four. I can't count four spots okay so first one is right here you can watch flank um, you should win the gunfight most of the time and then you can just hop up and you can see the corner of the bomb depending on how far over you planted it or how far over to the left when you're facing this way you want to move and then jump you're fairly protected um, nobody should be able to pick you although somebody might see you and then they will come to challenge you so be prepared for that another spot is on this fence if you go to the right, you will start to die. You know, if you just move like that, you'll start to die. So keep that in mind. The further back you go, it's a little bit different. Um, you know, right here you can jump and you can see the bomb. Um, further back, you do the same thing. Like right on the other side of this, you'd still have to jump to check. If you go 
right about here. This is about the farthest that you can go and then jump, and you can see it the, where you planted the bomb if you planted it all the way over. If you go in this back corner, you cannot actually see where you planted, um, so just kind of keep that in mind. This is an okay thing to do. However, I would have somebody watching flank if you're doing this because they're they're going to notice you. I mean, they're just they're gonna do it. Um, and then I'll do the, the, this one's easier to do. Uh, you're just going to I say it's easy and then I miss the jump, right? All right, you get on top of this. Please let me up. All right, and you go all the way over here. Please don't kill me. And you can head glitch this. You've got flank. Nobody's gonna kill you on flank. If they kill you on flank, then you missed your shots. It's as simple as that. Or they quick scoped you, but nobody should be running around there with a sniper. Um, then you can see mid, right? And this doesn't seem like that great of a spot, right? Well, all you gotta do, jump up. And you can see that back corner of the bomb. So you can literally plant it there and just be checking it and then watching flank. Checking it, watch flank. You just do that and then you can come around here and challenge, right? Alright, and then this other spot, there's, there's another spot after this for A. However, this one is very difficult to get into. You have to practice it a lot. Um, sometimes I can get in this first try. Other times it takes a bit. So if I have to, I will cut it. But I'm going to show you at least one failed attempt if I fail it to show you kind of. But okay. Yeah, all right. I failed. So we're probably going to have to cut it here. And I'll show you when I actually get in it. Okay. I guess we don't have to cut it. So we get in it. And you can see the corner of the bomb. You can see the window there. Uh, people don't expect you to be up here. I've actually had people come on flank and not see me up here. Note that your shadow shows. Um, as time goes, people should definitely be seeing you when you're up here, to be completely honest. However, if you know they're on this side of the map, you should win the gunfight. should be good to go. If they come to, from that alley and they push up, they're not going to see you up here. They'll, it'll take them a second to register it, and you should win the gunfight. Other spots at A essentially consist of i don't know if i went over did i go over the spot i don't know if i went over the spot so i'm sorry if i'm doing this again you know right over here um and then you come over here and you look at it you can see the corner of the bomb here and you can rotate um to hide your body from this way and just kind of look like this and then check it rotate back check it you obviously can't see the corner of the bomb but if you plan it all the way over you should be able to see it it's possible to actually ninja defuse this if they you know come just like this and start diffusing so you do have to sometimes push up and check it but it's an okay spot and then last two spots well, it's technically one spot but we're counting it as two is this corner and then on the other side the exact same thing um, you know you can see a little bit different things you can see a little bit more than sitting on the ground and it gives you a height advantage that people aren't expecting their aimer is going to be a little bit lower so you have a slight advantage in these positions not the greatest thing to do however if you've got like two people this actually isn't bad sit one person there and one person here and you've got a decent little setup all right so we're going to move into other kind of spots on the map so first one is actually just right here um obviously this is a head glitch but this is a better head glitch okay if you die on this head glitch and they're this they're from that direction I, I don't know what to tell you. you. You shouldn't die on this head glitch. Um, there's a hard point right in here. So just note that this is actually a decent spot to use. Also, you can, of course, head glitch on this truck. Look this way. Look this way. You know, just different things. You can look under the truck as well. I'll show you what that looks like. So you can look for feet. Um, you can also head glitch stairs, but I don't I don't see why. There's, there's not much point because it's so common. You can get on this fence if you don't die. Okay, hold up. I gotta wait a sec. You can get on this fence. This fence is harder to get on. This is probably the hardest fence to get on on this map for some reason. But you can do it. I promise you that. I'm special with my jumping. Please let me get on this. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, whatever. You can get on it. Trust me. But it's, it's hard to do. Um, I think they actually... I almost feel like they patched it because it was really easy to do the first time that I did this, but it's it's hard now. Um, you can also get on this stone wall up here. You have to be you know kind of careful with where you are. Um, you can actually make it climb and get on. Is it not going to? All right, whatever. Uh, you can go back here. I know you can do this still. Like I I just did it a few minutes ago, but I'm being very special with my jumping right now. 
please. Okay. We're gonna do this. I'm I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Alright. I'm gonna die. Okay. Yes, see, you can be up here. Awesome. This is a good anchor position for hard point. Um it's also decent to see rotations, although if you're playing S and D I'd sit on that part. And you should be able to watch it. I apologize, it took me so long to get in that. I don't know why. Uh, moving on here, guys. Next spot is right here. You can, you know, see the staircase. And if you get on top of this, you can see the mid cut and the staircase. Uh, and you're safe from broken if you're like this because they're not going to see you. Another thing you can do is all the way in the back here. I don't recommend this, but if you have a sniper, you know it's all right. Um, you sit like this. You can see the staircase, you can see the broken rotation, and you can see this right hand rotation as well. They can't come from over here or anything stupid like that, so you're safe. Um, and, you know, you can't see the mid cut, however, you should be able to see them if they go to either of these ways, but you can't see the staircase either. So, not the greatest spot, but it is an option depending on your circumstance. Um, another thing is that you can actually look under this. You know, you can look under this and kind of see rotations. You can look at it this way as well if you want. Um, so that's something. You can also see through this, but there's not a whole lot of reason to actually do it. Um, it's very situational. And of course, this is a common head glitch, but instead, sit like this or sit like this. It just gives you a little bit more cover, so just kind of keep that in mind. Um, also, you can sit on this trash can here just like this. And you're good to go. And I'm getting messages. Oh no, people want to play with me. I'm sorry. Recording a video. Um, and yeah, you should be able to watch Flank from here. Also, you can... People people expect you over here, right? So it's a little bit risky to do some stuff over here. However, you can lay prone like this. And it's going to be harder for them to see you. And you should be able to get you know that kill on rotation there. So that's pretty much it for this area. Moving on, Broken. Broken almost had some promising stuff, okay? Like, this right up here, you can almost get up on it. I'll show you what I mean. But you can get on these things here, this one, uh, the one I'm on, and that one. You can't get on the side parts because it's actually, like, a texture, I guess. Um, but basically, when you try and go up here, it'll push you off. Sometimes you can get it to, like, do a climbing motion, but then it'll just instantly kick you off, which is unfortunate. Um... I tried getting on this, but you can't actually do it. It'll start climbing and fall off. Water is not swimmable, and you can't run on the side of the map. If you guys didn't know, on some of the maps, you can fall off, run along the side, and then jump back up, which is actually extremely useful, but you can't do it on this one. Um, you can't get up there, unfortunately, so there's not really anything to broken, but there's almost some promising stuff. Um, moving on. So there's a few things back here. Number one, this tarp. This is probably one of the best flank spots. You just sit up here. Broken's not going to see you um, until this spot becomes more well-known than it might be. Um, you can't see mid-cut. However, you can see them move to anything. If you really wanted to, you can move up here and see everything, but Broken will see you better. Um, anybody coming from A all the way through, you'll be able to see if they go through the building or through this front little alley part there. So you should be good to go there. You can also jump up on this yellow fence. And you have, if you move, you know, you can have like a nice little head glitch to the staircase. Uh, not the greatest thing, but it is an option to do. And then moving up here, I believe there was something else. Oh yeah, there's a little thing kind of worth noting. You can kind of see through the branches there and you can see the staircase. Um, and then you can head glitch this. It's, it's not the greatest. If you lay down, you can't really see it. Um... It's unfortunate, but that's just how it is. If they go to this left area, you could lay down and watch it. But, you know, it's it's pretty situational there. Um, moving to back A. So we got a tarp spot again here that you can kind of be watching from, although this one is terrible. Um, you could sit on this, though, and it's a little bit better. You should be okay unless they come through here. At which point, if you think people are going to be doing that far of a rotation back, I would sit on this tarp. Um, you have nice lines of sight pretty much everywhere for like, I mean, everywhere pretty much. You've got all of A. Uh, you can see the back alley over there. You can see this building, this back rotation, and if they push this back rotation, like the farthest back, you'll be able to get them as well. There's a head glitch here that you can be on, which is nice. 
and you can be on this little head glitch as well. Uh, and then there's one last thing, maybe two last things I'm trying to remember that I want to show you guys that you can do. Basically, you come right over here. Let me get my jump thing going. I just wanted to point out that you can actually jump and you can see. So you can see if anybody's on those head glitches or rotating in the back. So you can just check that. You can do that on the other side too. I'll show you what it looks like. And yeah, so that's what that looks like. That's just a check. Um, you're not really going to be able to hit anything unless you're the most amazing sniper in the entire world. And that is everything, I believe. So if I missed something, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. I just stumbled over my words. Um, yeah, let me know if you found some other spots that you think are better or as good. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, make sure to let me know I'm an idiot if I miss something super obvious. And I will be sure to bring you more videos of this type. I apologize for the length, but hopefully it was informational and you guys learned something. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody. Peace out.